in a country known for its wide array of landscapes and its unique cultural identity. New Zealand's Bay of Islands is an experience of both. With a little extra time here, what more could you learn? Perhaps a history lesson at the Waitangi Treaty Grounds, or a leisurely stroll around the cities of Russell, New Zealand's first capital. Or maybe just the simple pleasure of taking in the best nature has to offer. With a snack, of course. Located in the northernmost region of New Zealand's North Island, this aptly named natural harbour is home to almost 150 islands. Carved over centuries by wind and water, the iconic Hole in the Rock welcomes travellers to this subtropical paradise, just as it did for the region's first European explorers. So even though Abel Tasman arrived here in 1642, he never actually came ashore and walked on this land. But it was one of his crew members that named this country New Zealand, or New Zealand, and it was after one of their home provinces back in Holland. When they sailed away, no one else arrived here for another 125 years. The next person to sail into our waters was Captain James Cook, and that was in 1769. Located in the heart of the bay, the Waitangi Treaty Grounds marks the site where representatives of the British Crown and native Maori chiefs signed the Waitangi Treaty in 1840, considered to be the founding document of New Zealand as a nation. Travelers today can enjoy the restored Treaty House, in addition to the adjacent Maori Meeting House and War Canoe. Even the panels in between the tukutuku panels, they also have various meanings and they're pretty much universal throughout the the, land. the role I play up here is I'm um, pretty much a, a, not only a tour guide and ambassador, but a storyteller pretty much. <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah. Loved it. As a, a former school teacher, I would have very much enjoyed starting a class that way. <laughs> Any questions about anything at all? No, he's a still <laughs> It's all It's a lot of information to dissect here. <laughs> Just across the bay, the nearby shore town of Russell functioned as New Zealand's first permanent European settlement and original capital. The town features some of the oldest European-style buildings in the country. Experience the origins of a nation amidst blue skies and turquoise seas. Culture and nature are on full display in New Zealand's Bay of Islands. <laughs>